New tonight, a Biloxi drawbridge that creates traffic headaches for drivers could be getting a $15 million upgrade. Of course, we're talking about the Pops Ferry drawbridge. Noah Noble is live to tell us more. Noah. Well, Jennifer, that $12 million grant could be the answer to Biloxi's prayers to fix the Pops Ferry drawbridge. Tomorrow, Mayor Fofo Gillich will ask city council members to approve a memorandum of understanding with the Mississippi Department of Transportation to acquire that $12 million grant. As part of that agreement, the city will need to put up $3 million of its own dollars to finance this project, which will total $15 million. The issues here at the Pops Ferry drawbridge have been ongoing for years. We've been reporting on it for quite a while now. When that draw gets stuck up, it creates traffic nightmares. This is also an official hurricane evacuation route, which is why the city says securing this grant would be a major step forward. Once this is approved, then the city of Biloxi, once they receive all the information and, you know, the funds to start this project, then the city of Biloxi will go out for bid and then, um, you know, of course, get contractors and go through that. But again, there is no timeline, but just know that this is a great step forward to getting something done to the Pops Ferry Bridge. It, you know, it's used by over 20,000 motorists a day, so it's a high traveled bridge. Now, the city says it has already designated that $3 million, so it shouldn't be a problem. All they need now is the approval from city council, which will be going towards city council tomorrow during that meeting. This is all part of a larger project to eventually connect Pops Ferry from I-10 all the way south to Highway 90. Right now it stops at Pass Road, but the city is actively working with land acquisitions and permits from railroad companies as well as the Corps of Engineers, and they hope a bid will go out for the Pops Ferry Connector Project sometime by the end of the year. Of course, we'll be at tomorrow's meeting to let you know if this $12 million grant is accepted by city council. Live in Biloxi, I'm Noah Noble for WLOX News Now.